This video is an overview of FX Pro Quant, where we will present its basic functions and features. FX Pro Quant is a revolutionary new tool designed to act as your personal expert advisor's developer. FX Pro Quant enables users to create their own expert advisors without requiring any MSQL4 programming knowledge. That is, the tool has been designed to help you automate your trading strategies in MT4 without writing a single line of code. By introducing this service, FX Pro virtually eliminates the boundaries to entry to the world of automated trading robots, enabling each and every one of our clients to use the cutting-edge technology to improve their trading performance. You can either use an expert advisor, EA in short, to trade on your behalf or just to act as your own personal consultant. After logging in to your FX Pro Direct account, you will find FX Pro Quant under the dashboard and under the Algo Trading, which is short for Algorithmic Trading. Expert advisors created and saved earlier will be displayed in a list format available for future use or modification under the same page. These EAs can be deleted, edited or downloaded per user's request. To start building a new robot, just choose a name for it and click the Create New button. The FX Pro Quant screen consists of two main parts, the Components menu and the main workspace area. The Components menu includes a list of all components available for use in order to build expert advisors. These components, which are supported by the MT4 platform, are grouped into broad categories based on their functionality and use. The workspace serves as a drawing board for creating the expert advisors. To use any of the components, just drag and drop it anywhere on the workspace. Releasing the mouse also populates the parameters box, which as the name suggests, displays the selected nodes available parameters and allows for their customization. These parameters are the same as the ones you will find on the MT4 platform. Let us first review our building blocks for building our expert advisors. The first group is the group of indicators. These are standard MT4 supported indicators and allow for customization on the same input as the MT4. For example, the parabolic SAR system where you can customize the step and the maximum step for creating the system. The input group includes external inputs that can be assigned to other nodes. There are four types of these inputs, namely Boolean, number inputs, integer inputs and string inputs. For example, the number input that we see here is used in this case to set the period in the calculation of the bull's power oscillator. The maths group are mathematical operations that are used to derive values for using our expert advisor models. For example, the maximum function that you can see here returns the highest of the two inputs. In this case, it will return the highest value of the 14 days moving average and the 9 days moving average. Logic nodes are used in order to connect a system's parts together. There are three logical operations, compare, and, and or. In this example, we are comparing the values of the MACD main line and the MACD signal line in order to use COMPARE as a trigger for trading. The trade group includes all trading operations used to initiate, modify or close trades. Expanding on the same example, using COMPARE as the trigger, we can open a position accordingly. The orders parameters can be set from the parameterization window with risk management measures such as stop loss and take profit. Please note that all these are measured in points where one pip equals 10 points. 
info nodes return account and market information. In this example, we use the account free margin so as to set the free margin level in our account as one of the conditions in order to initiate a position. We can set, for example, that the free margin should be more than 1000 base currency units. The market data group includes instrument related data drawn from the market utilizing the ask price which as you know is the lowest quoted offer price among the available sellers in the system. We compare it to envelopes in order to initiate a sell order. If the ask price is above the upper band of envelopes then we initiate our sell order. The output group includes reporting functions such as alerts and error text printing in order to aid with the testing of expert advisors. Using the same example as before, we use the compare node as a trigger for our print error text. On our workspace, we can select the nodes that we want, move them around, disconnect them, or even delete them. Now that we know all about the main components, let's learn how to combine these tools in order to build our expert advisor logic. In FX Pro Quant, the only way to combine nodes and form a more complex logical statement is by the use of connectors. Connectors are built in every node, so there is no use to go looking for them. To reveal a connector, simply click anywhere on the node's outer diameter and drag the mouse. There are four different types of connections that can be established between nodes. Let's take a simple EA construction as an example. In order to make a comparison between two nodes, or even a node and a number input, drag the connector into the compare node's outer diameter. Releasing the mouse will reveal a window, prompting us to select whether the newly connected node will represent value 1 or value 2 in the compare relationship. Value 2 can be a number, or even another node. In this example, we use compare as a trigger when the ask is higher than the Bollinger Band's upper line. Now consider that we want to set an external input in order to control the Bollinger Band's period after the expert advisor has been designed. By connecting the integer input to the Bollinger Band's, another question is prompt asking us which parameter we want to customize. Selecting the period parameter will populate the relevant field in the Bollinger Band's parameters box. Having completed our comparison relationship, we now want to ask our EA to sell whenever these conditions are met. To do so, we introduce an open position node which we rename to sell order. Attempting to connect the compare node to the sell order, you will notice that the connector appears colored in green. Connectors that originate from logic and trade nodes appear in green, indicating the positive association with the condition set. In this case, for example, the sell order will be executed only if the condition set is met. FX Pro Quant also allows us to use nodes as triggers in the event that the reverse output is true. That is, a node can still act as a system trigger 
but only if the condition set is not met. To demonstrate this functionality, let's assume that this expert advisor is required to close this cell order in case the conditions are not met. Dragging a close position and renaming it to close cell order for convenience we can connect it to the same trigger. The condition we need to set in this case is the exact opposite of what we have set for our cell order. That is, we need to reverse our condition. To do so, just click on the connector to select and in the parameters box, set the reverse output to true. As you will notice, the connector will change color, becoming red and indicating that the closed cell order will be executed if the condition set is not true. Let's see some useful hints about using connectors. First of all, if two nodes do not connect, it means they are not meant to. Take for example an AND node and a MAXIMUM node. Connecting them to each other cannot make any sense. FX Pro Quant therefore does not allow this connection to exist. On the other hand, even nodes that do connect do not necessarily make sense. Let's take for example our account node and the relative strength index. You can connect the account node to the RSI and set it as its period, but it doesn't make much sense. Finally, let's make a last point using the Bollinger Bands. And the arithmetic note. The point here is the importance of direction in connecting two notes. Connecting the Bollinger Band to the arithmetic node means that the Bollinger Band serves as one of the two values to be added together. On the other hand, connecting the arithmetic node to the Bollinger Bands serves as an input for parameterizing the period, for example, of the Bollinger Band. The arithmetic operation will substitute for the period. These are two completely different operations. Another very important parameter in FX Pro Quant is the so-called magic index. As you will probably notice, all nodes that involve trading operations have a mysterious magic index parameter. Every time a new order is opened by an expert advisor in the MT4, a unique number called the magic number is assigned to it. This parameter is used in MQL4 as a reference in order to enable the expert advisor to differentiate between the orders they have opened and orders opened by other expert advisors or the user manually. The magic index parameter found in FX Pro Quant adds some digits at the end of the order's magic number so that by referencing it we can instruct our expert advisor to act upon those particular open positions to either modify, close or even return information on those trades. Let's take an example. Consider an EA built in order to initiate buy and sell orders based on the relationship of two moving averages. The advisor would buy whenever the fast moving average is above the slow moving average or sell whenever the opposite happens. This obviously means that the system will be opening both types of trades whenever these conditions are met. Now consider that we also want to instruct our EA to close these trades when the reverse happens. That is, to close the buy trade when the fast moving average once again crosses the slow moving average and vice versa. Utilizing therefore the close position order found in our trade tab. 
we can instruct the expert advisor to close by orders whenever the opposite is true and also to close sell orders whenever the opposite of that is true. But how will our system know which of them to close if we instruct it to close the buy orders, for example? By using the same magic index for buy orders, say 1, and for close buy orders, and then using a different buy index, for example 2, for sell orders and close sell orders, our expert advisor can distinguish which orders to close. As you will notice, in FX Pro Quant, under the trade group, there is also a magic index node. This node allows the magic index to be set as an external input linked directly to other nodes. That is, we can use it like a number input, for example, to set the magic number for all buy related orders and another magic index for sell related orders. To save and export our expert advisor, just press the save button on the upper right side. If you fail to do so, closing the software will prompt another window asking you to save.